Hey everybody, what's going on? Right with Vion here. And in this Mecha Break video, we're going to quickly go over Cape Blanc Observatory in hopes it'll better your gameplay and your experience. Let's jump into it. Now, in this mode, your goal is to dismantle the objectives by interacting with them. Each dismantle is worth one point. However, the larger objectives, you can tell by the size of the shatterers, uh, they actually give two points. So first team to eight points win. Now this map is larger with small groups of buildings spread throughout. So keep this in mind. And I would also like to point out the first objective always spawns inside the crater, which is basically in the middle between team A and team B spawn point. When you load into the map, you're dropping in, you go up to the ridge of this crater and you can either, you know, take a point there, you can rush inside the crater, or you can kind of go around. Now, there's a lot of different tactics depending on what strikers you're using, but sometimes people like to go in to try to hold the zone, which it works if you have that support from the ridge or your long range allies behind you, or if you have healers backing you up, or if you just bum rush the middle. Keep this in mind, in order to hold that middle section, you're gonna to have to do some heavy fighting and literally you're fighting uphill because your allies are gonna be coming from the other side of this crater. Now, as I said, this map is huge and is all open. I feel as if flyers and snipers can really go ham here. Sky's the limit, especially snipers. Uh, in some cases, I say this would favor more mobile strikers, but it doesn't count them out. It doesn't count all the other strikers out. So keep this in mind. Now there are limited amount of cover outside of the hills themselves and the small buildings we mentioned prior. I personally would suggest using strikers that either have range, that can endure long range fights. Otherwise, if you're using a close range striker, make sure uh, you commit fully to charging in when you do that. Otherwise, you're probably just wasting health and sometimes armor depending. Having a striker with shields and bubbles is awesome because that can give you a second to two seconds more of that time needed to capture a point. Say you get to a point before your enemies do and they're further away, make sure you get there, pop a bubble, pop a wall, a cage, whatever, and start capturing that point. And it's very, very satisfying when that happens. And the counterpoint on that, if your team is late to an objective and they don't have the control of the area, more than likely you're gonna be running up on a team that's trying to capture this point. They're gonna have someone who's ready to interact. They're gonna have people defending. So you're already fighting against your luck, okay? So be very mindful of the objectives and listen to those audio cues as well as the visual cues up above in the HUD because it's very, very important. Map control is very important with these objectives because they like to spawn closer to one another. Take this opportunity, be sneaky. Uh, I feel as if, if you, if you mind yourself while enemies are fighting your allies, you might be able to sneak in a capture depending if you have a bubble or if everyone's paying attention to someone else, but more than likely an enemy team will be paying attention to the spawn point as well as the combat going on. Now, as you approach these dismantled or object shatterers, sorry, uh, you will notice that there are these AI suits that will come down and shoot whoever's in the proximity. Mind you, they're very quick to, to be destroyed. So I recommend destroying them when they come down. In some cases they don't target you and they target enemies. That's fine, as long as they don't turn on you while you're trying to capture the point, you know? So use your bad judgment there. Uh, I would also like to point out that uh, after you destroy these guys, it's a lot easier to capture the point. Otherwise they will interrupt you. Uh, as you're trying to capture and no one wants that that can definitely signal between a point captured or an enemy runs in or panther runs in and just destroys you and i feel as if you definitely need to dispatch norikamis if they are hiding or any kind of snipers if you're a falcon sky raider or any other fast moves you need to take care of them because if these suits sit back and just pop your team it, you're going to have a bad time okay and other suits like stego is a massive problem if left unchecked because they just rain missiles and rockets all beautiful fireworks you know what i'm saying so Keep all this information in mind when you play this map. And if you and your team either uh, like to communicate with one another, uh, use your pings, uh, you know, 
be mindful of the objectives because if you see an objective spawn or about to spawn, your team should try to make their way there because the worst feeling is when you're the second team to run up on an objected area, you're gonna have to contend with a team that has gotten into a safer position to defend their area. Mind you, not always the case, but you know, to be safe than sorry, try to move with the objective with your team. Pay attention to the map and pay attention to the cues and you'll be fine. Hopefully some of this information has helped. Uh, let me know in the comments below if there's anything you'd like to add, something I missed, something I was wrong about, it's totally fine. And also I point out this was the time of the limited beta, so things are absolutely subject to change. This guy could become irrelevant in like two months time, who knows? But for now, I just wanna share this with you guys and hopefully it'll help you out next time you play. So, uh, I would love to hear from you all. Hopefully we can chit chat in the comments and until the next video, stay out of trouble and nothing but love. Peace.